Okay, welcome to a video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal. I'm a UK reseller. I buy and sell antiques, collectibles, and anything weird and wonderful in the hope to flip them for profit. Everything's on my YouTube channel, antiquesarena.com. You won't find me on eBay anymore. Anyway, today we have a whole video. I've been buying at charity shops, thrift shops, and at car boot sales. And I've got an absolute beautiful mix for you today. So if you like antiques, collectibles, or if you're an eBay seller and you want to know some of the things to buy to sell online, then stick around and we'll see, see what you think. Okay, first piece we have is a large, I would call this an antique conch shell. So it is an antique shell, but the wear on it suggests it's got some age. But this is a big, big shell. Beautiful thing. Really substantial. Now it isn't carved. It'd be nice if you'd had uh, a nice Victorian carving on the top of the shell. But still, look at that. Absolutely stunning. And what is it? Eight inches by seven and a half inches by five and a half inches. Absolutely beautiful thing. And I'm asking £45 for it. However, just to give you an example. I like to be realistic on my prices. £60 sold price on eBay, 65 sold price, 55 sold price, 49, 50, 50, 49, 49, 50, well, that's £50. So it gives you an idea. I like to be realistic. There's sold prices on eBay. You wouldn't think that just for a shell, would you? So nice little thing. Then I had a pair of these, which I feel are 1940s cranberry flashed now what do i mean by that what i mean is they have a clear glass decanter then they sort of flash it or dip it in a cranberry glass then they cut the cranberry back to reveal the pattern in the clear glass um so they flat uh ruby or cranberry flashed glass decanters there's a pair of them there's a very small chip on the uh, rim of one and it is small Beautiful things. They got a little iridescence to them as well. It's hard to uh, see it on the camera, but there's an iridescence to the glass as well. But nice decanters nonetheless. Anyway, I'm asking 75 for the pair. 12.75 inches tall. Uh, these were car boot sale find. However, £65 for a single there, and that's a sold. That is actually gone. On this one here, they're asking £52.20 without the stopper. This one doesn't come with a stopper. The stopper in the photograph is just for the, uh, for the picture. That's someone else's picture they've got. Uh, so they want 50 quid without a stopper. I'm only asking 75 for the pay. Um, I forgot to tell you the prices, didn't I? The con shell cost me £3. Three whole pounds, and this pair of decanters cost me two pound in Tiraberth this week. One pound per decanter. That's all they cost me. This was an absolute stunning find. It is early, early nineteenth century. It is Georgian. It is English. Beautiful rummer. I haven't had a nice rummer for ages. Now, as I've told you many, many times, when they come into you, they come into you for nothing. This one cost me fifty pence. It's got a sort of stipple engraving around it, some initials and in the like in like a cartouche of engraving. There you go. They've done sort of a cartouche there, and you have some initials there. Tiny chip on the collar. Beautiful early glass. And that cost me 50p. And I'm asking 75 pounds or 70 pounds rather. That's about 1810, somewhere number there. So it's over a 200 year old drinking glass. If anybody wants to know how to identify drinking glasses, this is my YouTube um, channel. And there's a tutorial section there on English Georgian drinking glasses. And you can see there, there's four videos on identifying drinking glasses. So if you want to go to those on my YouTube channel, Antiques Arena again, and watch those, they'll teach you how to identify drinking glasses yourself. I mean, you can turn 50p into 50 pound, 100 pound, or a couple of hundred pound. They're well worth my win. This I absolutely loved. It only cost me a tenner. 
It's massive. It's 31 and a quarter inches by 16 inches. Now this is a proper road sign. This isn't just a cheap printed sign on cardboard or plastic. This is big, thick, heavy aluminium, reflective road sign. And I love it because it says an active airfield, no access for vehicles or pedestrians. The only way it could be better is if it says, you will die. <laughs> But it is a lovely, beautiful sign in lovely condition. The edge is a bit rough, but there you go. You can see it's a reflective, proper reflective sign. A little bit of scuffing on the uh, front. Very, very minor. There you go. It's a pole mounted one. But yeah, big aluminium sign. I think that's a serial number for there. I couldn't photograph it very well. But look at that. I only paid a tenner for that. Now, if anybody's interested overseas, um, I think it's like $1.2, something like that, to a pound. So it's it's not a million miles off one for one. That'd be like 125 They would be something like $150, $160. It ain't a lot of difference. That's obviously just a rough guess. You haven't got to be uh, correcting me if I'm slightly off. This was a fabulous find. I've put it as yellow metal or rolled gold because there's no hallmarks. Um, and we have a cherry amber big light necklace. Let me share the photographs with him. I haven't had a piece of this for ages. Look at that. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beads. These beads, pound for pound, are more valuable than gold. They go, they sell by weight, and they are extremely sought after. Now there's mine, so you got three, five, seven, nine beads. Take a look at some eBay prices. I hope I'm sharing this. Hang on. Let me just double check. I am sharing, yes. So have a look at this. These are sold prices within the United Kingdom only. Three and a half thousand, two thousand six, twenty two hundred, two thousand. These are cherry amber bakelite. Very rare stuff and just crazy money and every one of these is a sold price so anybody saying to me you can ask where you want these are sold green finished articles got 1700 thousand pounds thousand pound for a handle there thousand pound there you go they're selling them by weight dealer 61 grams 945 pound anyway found the identical one i've got they've got it listed as nine carat yellow gold now, they haven't said whether theirs is marked or not, same as mine. And they've actually got less beads than me. They've only got five beads. I've got nine. They want 140. And what am I asking? Can't remember. 95. So you can see I am quite realistic on my pricing. However, I paid a pound for mine. I don't know how much they paid for theirs. So that's not bad going, is it? Also, this is on my uh, Antiques Arena again. Now, I haven't actually added this to my tutorial videos yet because well, I'm just that far behind. But it's on my YouTube. And the title to it is How to Test Bakelite in Seconds. Or there's the uh, link there. I'll probably copy that link into the description if anybody wants to go and watch how to identify Bakelite using the metal polish. Um, but you can see the monies is uh, pulling, so... If you don't know how to identify Bakelite, I suggest you figure it out. People are even buying the old radios now if they're coloured and carving them down to make beads. Re reforming old Bakelite into new jewellery. This was a bit of a, a curio buy. Now, I didn't know what this was when I, when I saw it, believe it or not. Let's share the photos with you first. This is... Danish or Swedish, Finland, it's along that area, it's Scandinavian. And it is, for all intents and purposes, an ironing board. Not an ironing board, sorry, an iron. This is a mangle board. Now, the mangle board was used to flatten linen alongside a rolling pin. And they are early forms of folk art. And they used to be obviously used for linen pressing whereas nowadays with modern technology they just used as folk art and hang on walls anyway i bought it as a speculative lot from the charity shop i paid a tenner for it 
I'm asking a hundred for mine. However, an early one, eleven £1 hundred pound, hundred and twenty five, hundred and fifty, hundred and fifty, two two eight, eighty four there, seventy five, two and a half, two twenty. You can see the monies. Look at the varieties of different ones. Now, obviously, condition, age, intricacy of carving, everything, whether it's got original paintwork, everything's all going to come into it. But it's something I didn't even know what it was. And these are, more for more, all intents and purposes, Danish, Swedish, all of them type of areas. And if you saw it, would you know they're worth hundreds of pounds? Now, if anybody's interested, I have done a full article on um, the Scandinavian mangle, mangle boards. Now, I didn't know anything about it until I bought one. And then I've done the research and I've read and read and read and read. And then I've put an article together. So it's all there. The article on the website. Go to the blog page. Or, again, I may s stick that into the description for you. <laughs> this was a bit of fun. Now, I don't know when I play the video on Facebook whether it's going to pick up the sound. This is musical. And the airplane goes around the Eiffel Tower playing music. Now, it is by a company called Wonderful Life. No, Wonderful Life. Wonderful Life. They're new. They're not old. But these are 100 plus to buy new. And they sell in 50, 60, 70 second hand all the time. No problem whatsoever. So, let's have a look at this. I don't know if that music is coming through or not, um, but he's playing a tune while the airplane goes round and round and round. Absolutely love it. So there it is, you have it, uh, a wooden aeroplane going round and round the Eiffel Tower. It's a good size, five and a half inches square and six inches tall. And in mint, mint condition. Let me share the photos with you. But it cost me a tenner, so it's about $12, and it's something like that, $12, $13, not a lot of money. There you go, wonderful life, Gene Cultural and Creative Co. Limited. And they make so many different things. But they are quite expensive. They're 100 plus. But they have a full music box built into them. Lovely, lovely thing. And I, do you know the first, first thing I thought of when I saw this was all I needed was King Kong to be climbed up the that. I know it's not the Empire State, but King Kong up there and then the airplane going round and round and round. That was the first vision I had in my head. So. Then I purchased this absolutely dream of a tank. Now. I've put £40 into this. However, I absolutely love it. It's solid bronze. Now, I've done some research. I could find bronze resin ones, but not a solid bronze one. And it's a presentation tank for Cor Lance Corporal Harris from all the members of 32 Regiment Corporal's Mess. <laughs> and... I really struggled to identify what the material was to the point I even give metal a scratch to make sure it was solid bronze, not uh, the resin. I've had a magnet on it, everything. Uh, I know bronze is a non-ferrous metal, but there is still metal inside there in the construction, and it does stick to the metal as well. But uh, yeah, beautiful thing. I paid 40 for this, so this is the dearest thing I've bought. Uh, and I'm asking 95 but again, I think it's a lovely object with a bit of uh, something about it. And then it was this, which is a glass teardrop. This is by, I can't even pronounce it, Spaja, Vaja glass. Now, beautiful thing. Look at the color control layers. Big, massive teardrop. It's eight and a half inches tall, and it is signed. go we'll get there now so a lovely thing 
There you go, signed on the base. And I just love that mix of the colors. Anyway, I done my research on it, and this is the company, it's the Svaja story. And it talks here about the uh, story there. So if anybody wants to read this, it is e-spaja.com about us. And the full story is here. Um, the founder of the company was Christina Svajain, Bob. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm very sorry. And they have many, many products. And here's the one. All products, all oh, paperweights. That's what I wanted to see. Paperweights. Very similar one there. Only mine's got the multiple colors. Seventy-three to one hundred eighteen. The one hundred eighteen being the dearest. It goes on the size, and I've got the multi-color, not the single color. So you can see there, mine's priced very fair at fifty-five pounds. So it's a very cheap price because it's in mint condition and it's the three-tone color, or the two-tone. If you don't count the clear, and mine cost me a whole two pounds in the charity shop. So, what do you think of that? Some lovely things, as per usual. It's, it's been a week. Car boot sales have been back up for a week, and I'm already having a field day. I'm loving life. I'm having fun, and I'm finding some real nice gems. 50p for a Georgian drinking glass. That is a massive weapon in my arsenal. To go out there and be able to look through and rummage through boxes and let's be honest every single car boot sale you go to is boxes and boxes of drinking glasses on the floor that nobody even looks at every chant shop you go to they got shelves of drinking glasses nobody looks at how many rummers are you leaving behind same with them beads so many people are focused on gold but there's a lot of things worth as much if not more than gold that they're leaving behind. So just because you see a dealer rummage through a box and move on to the next one, first of all, you don't know the knowledge that dealer has, and second of all, you don't know what they're looking for. At the moment, gold is at an all-time high, and people are getting gold rush, gold fever, whatever you want to call it. They are literally blind to anything that is not gold. So, you never know. Keep your eyes open and have a dig and just enjoy it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Check out the website, 5,000 items almost on there now, uh, antiquesarena.com or check out my blogs or my YouTube channel for plenty of tutorials or similar videos to this. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please subscribe, please share, like, comment. Let me know where your favourite item is. Bye for now.